one simple strategy to help you navigate seasons of change. What's going on everybody, Just with Next Steps here and I wanna give you that one quick tip here in just a second. But first, remember if you're watching this on YouTube that I actually follow a posting schedule where we discuss one single topic all week long. And this serves really as kind of uh, the final announcement, the final tip, the final insight into that particular topic. So if you've missed any of this, if you like what you're about to hear, which I'm sure you will, go back and watch the, the Leader Quest podcast, which is available both on uh, this YouTube channel. It's also available on iTunes. You can also find it on my website. Go join the Facebook community at Jay Hebert Coaching. Follow me on Instagram. JustinHebert.com has a blog. There you can sign up for my newsletter where I give you this weekly recap to make sure that you haven't missed any of this. But let me right now give you that one simple tip. And that is this. There's an acronym that you can use that helps you navigate seasons of change. Really, when you kind of look up and you notice that your world that you have been working in is changing, here's how you can navigate that. Because we have those seasons of life where maybe you lose your job, maybe a significant relationship is changing, uh, right? There's all sorts of possible options where you kind of look up and you're like, whoa, what is all of this stuff that's going on around me? That's where you can take a personal inventory, uh, a personal... Uh, habit checklist, personal success checklist, and really just engage with yourself about during the season of change, how do you want to respond? And so here is the acronym that can help you do that, and it's KISS. And you've probably heard of one called Keep It Simple Stupid. We're not, we're not talking about that one, but these are uh, pointers, these are tips to help you strategize how to navigate this change. So the first one, the, the K, is keep. That is, what do you want to keep doing. Undoubtedly, even in the midst of change, you can still look around and say, yes, but I know that I'm doing this particular thing right. So let's say, you know, if you lost your job, maybe you could say, yeah, but I know that the thing that I'm doing right is continuing to invest in my relationship with my spouse, with my kids, uh, going to the gym, right? There are a number of things that maybe even as this transition happens, there are a number of habits, there are a number of disciplines that I need to keep doing. The I is to improve. What are some things that I need to improve upon? Okay, I lost my job, but I think the relationship with my spouse, with my kids, I, I want to keep working on that stuff. I don't need to keep going to the gym, but I want to actually improve the amount of time that I'm spending in reading personal development books. Maybe I'm spending about 30 minutes twice a week, and my goal now is 30 minutes four times a week, or five times a week, or 20 minutes daily, right? What is something... If the K is what do you want to keep doing, what are the habits and disciplines that you like that you have, the I is what do you want to improve. And the two S's pair off of each other. The first one is what do you want to start doing? What are the things that you haven't been doing that you need to begin doing? Maybe most obviously in this example, it's applying for a job. But it could be that you want to, to start a business. or Maybe there's a new habit that you want to start that you haven't been doing. Maybe the new habit is that you wake up at 4 a.m. and go work in the garden, right? Like the sky's the limit. Get creative. Find those habits that are going to help you process this. But the first S is what you need to start doing. And the last one uh, is, is to stop. What are the things that are going on in your life that you need to stop doing? Man, I have wasted a bunch of time. In fact, the reason I was fired is because I wasted a bunch of time on social media, right? And the boss caught me. My productivity went down. So I'm going to stop spending that time on Facebook. I'm going to you know, do a 30 day social media fast. I'm going to stop social media. And instead in that place, now I've got this natural space to start a new business, to start coaching a little league, to start volunteering in my community, right? Like if you're going to stop something that you have deemed as a bad habit, replace it with something that is a good habit. But anyway, that is your tip for the week that in, in these seasons, in these transitions of change, that is one great way to help you navigate it. Just remember to kiss these opportunities. What do you want to keep doing? What do you want to improve that you're doing? What do you want to start? What do you want to stop? Thanks so much for watching. I am Joseph with Next Steps Coaching, coming back at you on Saturday with a brand new topic. I will announce what that is tomorrow. So be sure that you are following me on all the social media channels so you can get update with that. I'll leave links for all that stuff in the video description down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on Saturday. Have a great one. Bye.